Servus and welcome to a new episode of Inside BMW Group Classic. And today we are actually inside BMW Group Classic. Today we would like to explain you the whole hydrogen history of the company. And hydrogen is really a very versatile energy source and it has a key role to play in the energy transition process and therefore also in climate protection. It all started in 1979 with the BMW 520, but afterwards five other generations of hydrogen test car fleets were established. So let's have a look. So this BMW 520 was converted in a test car and it is powered by liquid hydrogen in an internal combustion engine. It was a collaboration between BMW and the German Aerospace Research Institute and I would like to show you, beside this amazing engine of course, the tank system. Well, it seems like a race car tank system, but in fact the main aim was to create a tank system which is very safe for long-term storage of hydrogen. And I think this is amazing. So after the BMW 5 Series came the first BMW 7 Series with hydrogen. We will show it to you later because then we will go back to the chamber of secrets. One really cool fact I want to tell you, it was in the year 1987 and BMW back then acquired 10% of the share capital of Solar Hydrogen Bavaria Limited. The aim was to really produce green hydrogen. And if you think about it, that was 36 years ago. So that was already very forward thinking of BMW. And it showed that the focus on clean energy was already on their mind back then. More or less at the same time in 1988, this car has been created. It uh, was the BMW 735iA of the Series E32. And based on the findings of the BMW 5 Series E12, this car was the third generation of the whole hydrogen story within BMW. And this is the most visible way to show you the progress of development because now the tank is much smaller and you still have enough space for your luggage. After dealing with these two great cars, Silke and myself would like to ask you to join us to go to the really holy and secret hall outside of Munich where all the BMW collection cars are stored. Okay guys, here we go. We are in the coolest garage of Bavaria, but today we are searching for something special. Exactly. You know, I was talking about the E23 when we were still in the BMW Group Classic. Here it is now. So in black from the year 1980, and we are talking about 40 years ago. So this car already had a range of 300 kilometers, which is really impressive. But now my favorite part, back to Mark. I will now operate the Stringo and it moves like magic. This beautiful BMW 750HL of the year 2000. Of course, the car has a V12 engine with more than 200 bhp horsepower. It was able to drive more than 230 kilometers an hour. And in the end, it was a very exclusive car because only 15 units have ever been built. And this is the Hydrogen 7 from the year 2007. And this was the world's first luxury sedan powered by hydrogen for daily use. There was a fleet of 105 cars and in total, 4 million kilometers were driven with this fleet. And this means five times to the moon and back. Let's have a look at the engine. Oops, there's no engine, but for a very good reason, because we went to the Festival of Speed in Goodwood to make a very special car running the hill climb over there, the so-called BMW H2R. It is a hydrogen world record car from 2004, which reached uh, nine world records, including, for example, the first hydrogen-powered car driving more than 300 kilometers an hour. And for this reason, we took out the engine just to prepare the H2R for the hill climb at Goodwood. So in the end, it was for a good reason. And we've been there and it was a great excitement. In the year 2007, the H2R record car was the inspiration for Danish artist Olafur Eliasson for the 16th BMW art car. So what Eliasson did was that he was um, removing the outer layer of the prototype and then he put on a really complex skin 
of steel mesh and these, as we can see here, very shiny metal plates. But the most important thing was that in the end there were numerous layers of ice on top of that. And this gave the art installation this very, very specific look. And this was called BMW H2R Mobile Expectations. And that is already the end of today's episode about BMW Hydrogen. Both of us hope that you enjoyed our today's episode of Inside BMW Group Classic. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. So, see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time. Servus. Are you serious? Strinko Bark? Is this yeah. now your new? It's, it's my new hobby. I will do it all night long. Are you joining me for the next episode or is this now your new job? I have to think about it. <laughs>